Hey, I'm Wilbur Lucas. I'm a wildlife photographer from the UK. Uh, but today I'm coming from Antarctica and uh, actually for most of my work I work in Africa. And one of the things I like to do is try and get unusual perspectives and to achieve that I often use remote control cameras and camera traps. So my remote control camera is called Beetlecam and I first created it back in 2009. And what I wanted to achieve was it, with it was to get my camera down low on the ground and really close to my subject so I could photograph them with a wide angle lens. And so I created this beetle cam, took it out to Africa, and initially used it to photograph lions, elephants, buffalo, animals like that. And the first trip was quite a learning curve. I got one camera mauled by a lion. But since then, I've evolved the design, added a protective shell and various things. And over the years, I've managed to use the beetle cam to photograph a whole range of species and really add another dimension to my work. So Beetlecam allowed me to get this close-up wide-angle perspective, but the problem with it was that it could only really be used to photograph quite bold animals like lions and elephants. But there's this whole range of other species, nocturnal species and shy, elusive species, that wouldn't let the buggy anywhere near them. And so to get this same perspective with them, I had to use a different technique. And what I decided to do was to use camera traps. These are stationary cameras with a sensor. And when the animal passes in front of the camera, it automatically triggers. And so I can leave it out for weeks or even months at a time, just waiting for that animal to pass. And I use that to photograph you know, quite shy animals uh, that wouldn't come out if there was a human around trying to photograph them. And also because the camera trap allowed me time to set up lighting in advance, it, it's actually one of the best ways to photograph nocturnal creatures because you can set up all the lights. It's just a case of wait, waiting for the animal to walk through the frame. When I was looking to start using these camera traps, I looked at what was available in the market and there was nothing that really worked the way I wanted it to work. So I again decided to design something myself. And so I based my sensor around a passive infrared sensor like the ones in your security system at home. And I basically packaged that up in a weatherproof housing and uh, used that to trigger my camera. And since then, I've actually turned it into a product which I market through my company, Camtraptions. And our latest sensor has just come out. It's a wireless sensor, so you can put the sensor anywhere within range and it will wirelessly trigger the camera when it detects motion. So in your backyard is a great place to start, maybe your local national park, something like that. And camera traps allow you to really, you know, set, set up cameras which you can keep monitoring over, you know, every week, once a week and uh, you know, get something different. So whether it's interesting lighting effects that you set up or going after that really elusive creature, uh, there's a lot of different ways people are using these camera traps uh, to try and capture something that hasn't been captured before. So I get back from Antarctica, have a few days at home, and then I'm going to Kenya to continue on with my work in Africa.